the video that you're about to see will blow your mind and forever change how you think of 3D printing. What this gearbox can do is completely insane. Hey guys, and welcome to Geared On For What. Today, I have a special treat for you. Today, we're gonna put two super tough 3D printed gearboxes head to head to see which one can pull the hardest. Now, I know what you're thinking. 3D printed gearboxes, huh? How much can they lift, like a pound? Well, I have a little surprise for you. This gearbox has proven that it can pull at least 260 pounds, and this one has proven that it can pull at least 360. I've actually tested these gearboxes at those weights and they were able to do it. But I haven't actually brought these gearboxes up to their failure point in a way that you could tell their exact limit, and the comment section gave me a great idea on how to accomplish that. So the setup will be one gearbox here, one gearbox here, and a 660 pound scale right in between them. What could possibly go wrong? By the way, before we get started, I've made many other videos about these two gearboxes and lots of information about what they are and how they work can be found in those videos. So I've got this all set up, both of these gearboxes. I'm gonna lubricate them with some graphite. Now we'll do a, a proper zeroing of the scale. Okay. We've got the 160 to one gearbox set up here. We've got the 149 to one gearbox set up here. And we've got a scale right in between them. And we've got a rope to the 149 to one, to the scale the other 160 to one and then to a tree the other end is attached to my truck and then we've got two safety ropes below here in case one of the gearboxes breaks or one of the ropes breaks then the gearbox won't come flying to hold the scale upright in a way that you guys can read it i've got this stick through it okay hey guys make your guesses in the comments the 160 to one or the 149 to one which one's gonna strip out first you ready as i'll ever be let's go You want to switch drills? Make sure that's not the secret. Ready? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> so now we've got the 149 to 1 gearbox all by itself. We took the 160 to 1 out of the chain. Um, we've still got a little safety rope in case something breaks. A uh, little stick to support the scale. Keep it uh, where you can read it. And we're going to see what this one maxes out at. So I'm just going to put the drill in first gear, make sure the rope right lines up tight in the center, and give this a go. Okay, so we've doubled up the rope, um, same 149.3 to 1 gearbox, uh, the scale is reading because it's all tensioned up and we zeroed the scale, and we're going to go ahead and just see, hopefully the rope doesn't break this time. This is so stupid. Why are we doing this? Chicken grand. What are we at? 390, 400, 430. 470, 500, 550, 580, 600, 620, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, error. I didn't think this would max out the scale. Yeah, you totally maxed out the scale. It reads 0, 0.0 LBs. Nice. So the scale's right. So this whole setup got really complicated since things stopped going our way. First off, the rope broke, then the scale maxed out, not to mention the 161 just skipping teeth. Um, so this setup is very complicated. Here we've got a double rope going to the gearbox. That's just so it's twice as strong. 
And then we've got basically the scale set up in a compound pulley fashion um, so it can slide back and forth like that. <laughs> so the rope will be tensioned on this side and this side. So say it's pulling a thousand pounds, the scale would read 500 and the other side of the rope would read an equal 500 pounds. It doesn't matter which rope has more weight on it, it'll equalize out. So the scale will, will read half of what the gearbox is actually pulling. Okay, so right now the rope is tensioned up, the scale showing 11 pounds. We're just gonna see what this can be. I think this is actually the stupidest thing we've ever done in Gear Down for what? That anvil was nothing compared to this. Give us updates on where we are. Yep, 100. Three hundred. Three twenty-five. Three fifty on the scale. Three sixty. Seventy. What do you think my drill is skipping teeth? Three seventy-five. Four hundred on the scale and eight hundred pounds. Four twenty. Four twenty-five. Four thirty. Four forty. I'm just curious how hot this gearbox is right now. It's not hot at all. Nice. I want to get to 500, call it a thousand, and just be done. We're going to need a bigger drill now. 450, 60, 70, 80, 490, 500, that's a thousand pounds. Hey! It cracked, it dropped 50 pounds on the scale. There you go. Oh, yep, I broke a planet here. During shooting, this drill actually started skipping teeth inside the drill. I mean, it's completely incredible. Okay, so now we've tested this gearbox. We found out it can actually pull like 1,000 pounds. That is that many kilograms. Um, now we're gonna take it apart, uh, show you guys what happened. You couldn't see it while I was filming, but one of these planet gears actually popped out about a quarter of an inch. Um, and I could only see it from my side, so I know one of them is broken. So I'm gonna see if it'll still come apart and show you guys what happened to the inside of this. This had a catastrophic failure, so let's see what see what it looks like. So here it is. Are you ready to see what's inside this thing? Oh, no, there's one issue. So that planet gear actually sheared. That one's still solid. I can feel these twist a little bit when I turn them so I know that they're actually still solid on the outside because it is a little bit springy, the, the nylon X is. Yeah, only one planet gear failed, so I guess that's pretty good news. Maybe it was an under extruded layer or something, um, but that's definitely the planet gear that I saw sticking out when it was when it was loaded up that high. So this is what this gear looks like. This yellow one is made of PLA. I don't see any missing teeth or damage on this gear, and this gear looks good too. A little bit of schmoo on there. Uh, ring gears, what do they look like? No real damage to the ring gear. Uh, this is ring gear number three, ring gear number one. Has no visible damage. And ring gear number two has no visible damage. Yeah, so I broke one planet gear and I'm guessing the rest were just skipping over teeth inside this ring gear number two. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Yeah, I can't explain what happened here because none of these gears have damage except for just this one single planet gear. And even with one failure of one planet gear, there's nine more. Um, so I, I, other than just skipping teeth, I don't think anything happened to this whole gear set. Um, bearings in here seem better than ever. This slide's really nice actually. As a content creator, I often find that some of my best video ideas aren't even mine. They come from the comments section, and I'd like to give credit where credit is due. Today's video was submitted by these two. Hey, if you have any questions or suggestions for me, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to help my gear ratios reach a broader audience, hit that like button and share this video with your friends. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications for new uploads. Thanks for watching.